I'm Stephen Foskett, the organizer of Tech Field Day, and we are here in San Francisco at Intel Cloud Day. We've been hearing a lot about NVMe, and so we're going to talk about that. So uh, quickly, let's go around and introduce ourselves, and then we can jump right in. Sure. Um, I'm Matt Lieb, uh, architect at Onyx, and uh, I can be tweeted at M-B-L-E-I-B. Debbie Curtis Preston, otherwise known as Mr. Backup. Uh, you can find me at, at WC Preston. I'm John Abeto, I'm the head bottle washer at absolutelywindows.com, and you can find me online at, at John Abeto, O B E T O, Nigerian Prince. Yeah. I'm Ray Lucchese, Silverton Consulting Chief Bottle Washer, also Greybeard on Storage uh, podcast co host, and Ray on Storage blogger, and at Ray Lucchese Twitter. Howard Marks at Deep Storage Net on Twitter, the other co host of Greybeards on Storage, one would wonder why and a regular contributor to network computing. One does not wonder. Hi, Chris Wall. <laughs> I'm the tech evangelist at Rubrik. You can find me at wallnetwork.com, my podcast, Data Knots, or on Twitter, at Chris Wall. So, what is NVMe? Non-volatile memory, memory ex express. Extension. Express. Yeah. Oh, express. <laughs> so, it's a PCIe, a new, a new protocol job. for PCIe access to SSD storage. It's PCIe-based. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, it reduces a lot of the overhead. It makes it a lot quicker. And it's, you know, it's got some of the 3D crosspoint uh, future kinds of stuff by, because right. it's going to reduce that overhead. That's now, what some I people had. would freak out because you use the word SSD in association with MVME. Well, but it is an SSD well, yeah. it, 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 on it is PCIe. A, it is, it is it, a it solid is a state device. It is no. not an SSD. It is not, it's not, is not, not SSD. a solid state disk. There's yes. no SATA controller. Right? NVMe is a protocol, NVMe is a, a way to talk to the SSD. N or NV NVMe is a software protocol. Right normally implemented over PCIe right. to talk to a flash controller to talk to the, the, the solid state device. Yeah, I, to I, call I, it, it doesn't emulate a disk, so Stephen yes, it objects doesn't emulate a disk. to the D. It doesn't, doesn't emulate have a, a disk? Block it emulates a block device. Well, the, it, 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 it writes it, to it block. Accepts, it accepts block read and block write. It, it covers block read and block write commands, but it But it's not the disk itself. Yeah. It's not SCSI. Right. Yes, and, but it, and it, it did say uh, the, the the analogy I got was that NVMe is to SSD what SCSI is to SAS. How's that? That partially true, but the, the one of the big advantages of NVMe is if you look at SAS or SATA, there's one command queue and one data queue, right. and you can have 32 commands chained up and queued. An NVMe device has, can have up to 64,000 queues of 64,000 entries each. But, uh, but it fits the same role is really it fits all. The, it is, fits the same role. Right, right. It's a broader, cleaner path. And because there are that many queues, it allows more communication, tighter integration between the flash controller and the upstream system, which might be a, p a server, it might be a storage system. Yeah, and so the, are those parallel queues or, or serial yes, queues? they're parallel, parallel queues. Okay. Yeah. I was also impressed by when, when we had an opportunity to walk through the Dell facility and we saw those servers that actually had front-mounted um, NVMe, NVMe socks. Sock As right. if it wasn't confusing enough yet. Right. You so, have yeah, NVMe yeah. devices that look exactly like SAS hard drives and, in Absolutely. fact, use the same connector. Yeah. Well, well it's well, an adapted connector. They use connector. an extended connector right. called U.2. And we yes. saw a bunch of U.2 and, today yeah. they, where you could put up to 60 devices right. in two. So, so a U.2 connector adds four lanes of PCI to the existing SAS SATA connector. Right. And, it, he, and yeah. today, one of the more interesting announcements was the first dual port NVMe SSD. So if that box that we're putting the system, if we're <laughs> an SSD that again. works within, well, why are we not calling it an SSD? It's a, some it's some not. definitional because, issue here. Because oh, okay. Stephen is doctrinaire. Words mean things. <laughs> same reason. Words mean things. Okay, I don't so, understand this particular so it, problem. Same reason. We'll call it SIFs. So we have. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. So it's my problem. It okay, is your problem. All right. So we, yeah, everyone needs gift. someone to watch the grammar. <laughs> yeah. I get it. So what is the NVMe over fabric? So NVMe over fabric. So glad we have Howard here. <laughs> yes, that, somehow I became a, Professor Howard. Physical 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 better than the rest of you. You look the part. Yeah, yeah the Aloha shirt oh, really worked <laughs> <laughs> professorial. 
So NVMe um, over fabric uses external PCIe connectors and allows you to basically have the same kind of connection you would have inside the server, except that it's outside the server. And like, in fact, like it's over, over Ethernet, a switched over fiber PCI channel, Express over, network. Over switched PCIe, or switched over PCI. switched PCIe, or over um, extent, um, data center bridged Ethernet. So 10 gig. I have yeah. never seen or, a switched PCIe device. Or over Look fiber channel. Look at the SSDD. So, if you, so those servers. There's a device, though, that connects the those PCIe servers, to PCIe. Well, there's, there's, it, it's not like an Ethernet switch that is a rack mount device. It's but a chip. It's SAS and switches. There are SAS. Yeah, LSI makes SAS switches. And they, when they came out, my first comment to them was, please don't tell me it's another fabric. Um, but It is. So the, those <laughs> servers that have... 60 or 48 U.2 have a switch inside. slots yeah. have a, it's a, yeah. a have a no it's a standard uh, PLX and Sierra P PMC Sierra oh, okay. make 64 lane switch chips for and PCIe. for PCIe. Okay. The and point was brought up that that potentially bottlenecks performance, right, because but the performance well, is already... Only from a throughput perspective. Exactly. Like, exactly. And no one's going to, you know, we're not making backups to this stuff. But so the, the idea other was thing, you don't need 60 million The other million thing is they're, they're not currently <laughs> hot swappable. So. Well, PCIe has actually been hot swappable for a long time, but I've never known anybody... It is not. Who, it, since PCIe 2.0... Battle of the nerds. I have, <laughs> the, the server vendors will tell you that those are hot swappable slots, but I have never met anyone with the balls yeah, this to is actually one, hot exactly swap. Right. This is one nerdy argument. <laughs> <laughs> you could do it, but you'd be crazy too. Right. Therefore, but, it exists. But but when you but when you're not pulling the server out on the rails and opening the cabinet and pulling the riser out, yeah. you're instead. Swapping well, no, this is a more valid argument when you see two sockets in the front of the server right. supporting this. Yeah. And you're like, okay, well, this one's dying. I'm just going to yank it and pop in a fresh one. Right. That makes me nervous. Especially if it's not hot swappable. <laughs> well, they are, they're, they're as hot swappable. They are theoretically, but they are not there yet. Today, the U2 is hot swappable. You mentioned it today. It's yeah. saying it was all mm -hmm. capable, but mm -hmm. I haven't heard of it before, U2. Um, but maybe it was. I, well, the Dell R720 had a pre-standard version of what became U.2. Okay. Yeah. And I've seen demos where they've pulled the SSD out and replaced it, and Nothing the hot fire. works fine. A PCIe-based SSD. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it was like, it was a pre-standard of U.2, so it's P <laughs> PCIe. <laughs> so, so, so the interesting thing we go. about PCIe over fabric, though, is that you now have multiple companies out there developing, essentially, an external storage array that is PCIe connected. Thereby reducing your not bottleneck. not SCSI and not fiber channel. Oh, there's, like EMC DSS DD5, which is externally connected PCIe over fabric. Right. Well, you had like exactly a whole sentence like that. with nothing but acronyms. You realize <laughs> what, else <is> <laughs> what else is there? There's, there, there's DSSD, but there's also just NVMe replacing iSCSI or NVMe replacing... NVMe replacing iSCSI? Yeah. You, just, you run NVMe over fabric over 25 gig Ethernet. And now you don't have all of this, the SCSI overhead. And the thing about NVMe is oh, right. it's RDMA. So you can, <laughs> uh, if you have multiple <laughs> servers in a scale out cluster and a request comes in to server A for data that's on server C, the s server A can reach into the NVMe SS device Mm -hmm. In server, in the, <laughs> in, the, in the remote server, without using the processor in the. This remote is server. grandmaster level acronym wizardry, right? <laughs> it's, it's a lot of TLA. <laughs> this was a drinking <laughs> game. We and this, my friends, is why storage is the best thing ever. <laughs> so I awesome. hope that we've cleared up all of your or none of concerns, it. or at least <laughs> given you this NVMe 37 new acronyms to PCIe. look up. Yeah. yeah. Um, unfortunately, we're going to have to end it there. Um, thank you for. Clearing Clearing up everything <laughs> and defining everything, uh, and it's all Howard. clear as mud now. <laughs> if you'd like to, uh, well, actually learn something uh, from, I suggest watching a different Tech Field Day video. Uh, go to YouTube.com/slash Tech Field Day or TechFieldDay.com, where you can see lots of qualified people discuss things that they know all about in clear and concise ways. Unlike us. Unlike us. <laughs> <laughs>